Hey everybody, happy Friday. This video brings us out to Westchester, Pennsylvania, and we're here at the American Helicopter Museum and Education Center. Look at these amazing helicopters here. This one being a, I have no idea, Bell Boeing, or I don't know if that's a company or what. This is one of those cool helicopters that takes off vertically. These, uh, these propeller here is like, like, like they, they just take it off and then they they go down and it fly. I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? That's awesome. It's pretty cool the way these things rotate and work. Kind of turns in. It goes from like a helicopter into a plane, kind of, if you want to look at it that way. It's really, really awesome. I wish they were like demonstrating this right now. That'd be pretty cool. There's all kinds of helicopters here. You can go inside, like this tiny little one right here named Stubby. So I'm going to go inside Stubby. So some of these you can actually go inside of. This is apparently at one point used to actually train people how to fly helicopters. That's pretty cool. They take it on tour now, apparently. Sean's having a blast going inside each and every one of these helicopters. It is really awesome here. This is just the outside portion as well. There's four helicopters out here, but there's a whole lot more inside we're gonna take a look at. This one here is pretty neat. Look at the, the emblem on the front here. Look at that. That's awesome. And of course you have to love the, I don't know, what is this, the Tomahawk or something? Comments down below if you know what kind of helicopter this is. I'm just gonna say Tomahawk because when I see a helicopter that like, looks like a Tomahawk, I just assume that's what this is. I have no idea though, but look at this. This is where like the, the missiles would be and all the, I guess, other missiles would be. I have no idea. I'm just gonna assume lots of missiles on this thing. There of course is like this Gatling gun on the front here. Look at that. You should probably never stand in front of a gun, but you can tell it's been welded shut. So I don't think any bullets are coming out of there. Normally I would not be staring down a barrel of a Gatling gun like this, but I think we're safe. That's pretty awesome. Look at this thing. That is amazing. More missiles over here. This is epic. So you can get right up next to these things. You can touch them. I don't know if we should. Probably yeah, very, yeah, very, very hot, but pretty awesome. In fact, you can get right up next to these things and check them out and really like just then get up close to these helicopters that you would never normally be able to get up next to. So again, this is just what's outside. There's these four helicopters outside, but then inside there's all kinds of history, all the helicopters you can go inside. They got all kinds of dioramas and whatnot. Look at this. Who's Stubby? Stubby is the American Helicopter Museum's interactive traveling helicopter. Stubby originally was used to train U.S. Army helicopter pilots. That's pretty awesome. And of course, once again, Sean is going inside a Stubby. Oh my gosh, Stubby has a face on the front. How did I not notice that before? How am I only now noticing Stubby's face? That is pretty weird. I'm assuming they no longer fly this thing. I can't imagine them flying that with the uh, yeah. face, put it on the front of it. All right, so we're gonna go inside now. Check this out. If you thought the outside was epic, oh no, it gets a hundred times more epic inside. We're in this giant hangar here with all these different helicopters. Again, like I said, some of them you can actually go inside of. This one being a Boeing HH-47 combat search and rescue helicopter. Look at that. So you can actually go inside this one. You can see the cockpit up here. That's pretty cool. And then there's all kinds of like setups here. People who unfortunately have been hurt. They're getting some rescue, getting some attention, getting some medical attention there. There's even a toilet in here if you have to go. My question is, I don't know if any of you guys have ever actually been inside one of these, if you served in the military or something. Was there, was there a door to this? Was this blocked off at one point or were you literally going to the bathroom in front of all your buddies? I know it's the military. I know you, you, gotta, you have to like not be shy if you're serving in the military, but I'm just gonna assume there had to be a door and like a wall there at some point, right? You weren't just, you weren't just doing your business in front of your buddies while you're flying through the air, were you? Comments down below if you were. Let, let me know, because I'd be really curious about that. But that is just too cool looking, the way, it's, it's, it's just gigantic. That is neat. So cool, you can actually go inside these. Ooh, Sean's finding buttons. What's that button do? I, I don't think Press. I saw this. No, what's it do? Anything, oh. Makes the helicopter go. This is a Dragonfly fly DP-4. Unmanned vehicle. Oh, that's pretty awesome. This one here, unfortunately, is under construction. We cannot go inside that one. This one, you can't go inside, but you can look inside of. I mean, that's a pretty cool shot right there. It is just really neat out here. I mean, if you're into, like, aviation, helicopters, military, anything like that, this is a place to come out to. I'm really digging how these huge helicopters right here have the wings that fold down and fold across the aircraft, obviously for like, I guess being in storage, being on an aircraft carrier, things like that. You can't have these giant propellers that are sticking out. You have to be able to fold them down. Really cool the way they do that. Look at that. 
That is neat. These ones fold back. Almost, you know what it looks like? It's like they took the helicopter and just went like, like that, like that with it. They like, like slick it. They slick the helicopter's hair back. That's what I think when I see that. That is too cool. Very interesting, like innovative, 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 innovative. Way of doing the doing the helicopter blades. That is pretty awesome. Hello, dragon whales. Anyway. So you can, like I said, you can go inside some of these. Look at these little tiny ones right here. Sean was having a blast with this one. This is a um, Rotorway Scorpion. Look at that. 1964. There you go. Brittany and Sean are both inside it. That is a tiny little helicopter. Is it weird that like the smaller the helicopter, the more like I'm kind of terrified of it? I guess like the bigger they are, like in a way, I kind of feel like if they crash, you feel more yeah, like I feel like I'm not gonna be like just uh, obliterated, but in this thing, I feel like if this crashes, you're just done. There's nothing protecting you from anything. Were there even, were there even originally doors on these things? I remember seeing these in like movies and stuff when they're flying around. Yeah. There's no doors. They just fly with like the, like, just the, the wind on you, which is crazy. I, I, don't, I don't think there were doors on those. There's a tiny little helicopter here for the, the children to get into. Oh, Sean, you gotta come over here and go inside the, uh, oh, you wanna go in the helicopter? All right, go ahead, go for it. It's really like a baby. Yeah, I think even you're too big for that one. Yep. Here, put your face inside the, uh, inside this guy. Look at that, you're an, you're an aviator. You're a helicopter flyer. Awesome. And then this here is a same thing. I have, there's no. experimental. Yeah, look at that. It does say experimental down there. N6WL, I'm guessing that's just the number. I don't see a, um, no, there's no placard for this one. This is the one I want right here though. I, I want to get one of these for me personally. This is a Kitty Hawk Flyer. So apparently they were making a bunch of these um, with the, the idea of making them aircraft that you could just, like the average Joe could just f fly around, which sounds, oh, wow. which sounds terrifying. Yeah. Like I, just the idea of people just being like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna buy one of these and just fly the work. And then, yeah. and then these things just flying through the air. I, Seems like a really bad idea. A horrible idea. I, I don't I mean, it's a great idea in the sense you could get from one place to another very, very quickly. I like that. I could fly one of these down to Florida. I'd be there, I'd, I'd be in Florida in two hours on my own personal aircraft. That'd be amazing. That'd yeah. be fantastic. But at the same time, the, the idea of these just flying around the air terrifies me. It says, um, I guess it only took two hours of instruction to get 75 different people to fly one of these things. Wow. That's pretty amazing. But look at this thing, yeah. Here I know. I, I it actually is super comfortable. I sat in there earlier to get my picture taken, and I was ready to fall asleep. It was very, very comfortable. Look at these. They're like, um, like uh, I guess that's fiberglass or whatever. Or what is that the word I'm looking for? Not fiberglass. It's um, I forget that woven material they use in cars and stuff. Oh yeah. Seat belts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Oh. I don't think fiber is maybe fiberglass is the word I'm looking for. These um, these wings, whatever they're made of. Leave comments down below if I'm completely wrong about the use of the word fiberglass. I think that might be the word I want to use. I don't know, but these are really awesome. There's a million blades on here. That's gotta be super crazy loud, but still pretty awesome. I need to get one of these to fly to um, Florida, and I'm thinking. Now uh, the endurance says 15 to 20 minutes. So I don't know if that's gonna make it to Florida. The endurance? What? Oh, that's all. That's all that it flies for. Oh, is that as far as it goes? I would assume. Oh. So like every 15, 20 minutes, I had to land Stop. it and, and refuel it or whatever. whatever. Are these, this is electric or is it? Do oh, we batteries. Battery powered. Batteries. So, okay, every, every 15, 20 minutes, I had to stop and, re, and re, recharge. Oh, no, no problem. There's this fancy one here. Yeah, look at this I Lockheed want, want Martin one. I really want to be in If you guys don't know who Lockheed Martin is, um, they're a very fancy pants, um, richy, rich company. And as you can see, yeah. This is interesting. It's literally a limo helicopter. There are TVs, there are champagne glasses. I'm guessing that's a cooler down there. I'm seeing remotes. I mean, look at these nice leather. It's, you can smell the leather inside here. These leather couches, there's, there's all kinds of lighting and air blowing on you. Even the, we were noticing even the cockpit over here was kind of nice looking. If you're, if you're the pilot of one of these, get yourself a nice cockpit as well, which is pretty cool. This is a very, very nice. Helicopter. I mean, it's again, it's essentially a limousine helicopter. That's pretty fancy. I'm going to assume probably luggage would go back here because there's no really number to put luggage in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's got to be that's got to be luggage storage back here. That's that's pretty fancy. Lucky Martin. I mean, well, if you're Lucky Martin. You got the got the money. You're going to build yourself a fancy uh, fancy pants helicopter like that. 
This is a um, USMC Skylorski? Skylorski? Sikorsky. What is it? Sikorsky. Oh, oh, that's the, I'm, I'm putting the K and the O. You are inverting those. I can't read. H U S one D whatever. See, it's a sea. It's a seahorse. I'm just gonna call it the seahorse. There we go. I, I can see. I can pronounce and read seahorse. Look at this thing. This is the one we're looking at from the other side with the wings that are folded down. But you can actually go inside here. Sean's hanging out inside here. Yeah. Look at this seas. Doesn't blow up there's lots of things. Again, if you were ever in the military, were you ever inside something like this? If you were, leave a comment down below. I want to hear about that because that. Had to be pretty intense. Was it? Was, is it crazy loud inside one of these things? What's it like to fly around in one of these? You can actually see like up into the like, cockpits here. That's pretty neat. What was this thing used for? I'm guessing the call down to somebody. That's neat. Although, who are you calling down to? It goes in. The, what's in there? It goes into there. That's where they kept the the monsters. That's what I'm thinking. That's where Bigfoot was. They would capture big feet. They put them inside there, and you could talk to them. Go a little walkie-talkie. That's my assumption. This is cool. The J2. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce names anymore. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna call them by the, the names. Of the, That's not hard. Mc, McCullough? McCullough, yeah. I would not have said McCullough. I would have said something completely different than McCullough, I guarantee you. I'm gonna call it the, the J2. Tiny little aircraft. Oh, there's more buttons you can press. What's this one do? Three, two, one. Is it doing something? Go over there. Oh, does it do this? There it goes. Look at that. Is it going to lift off? Nope, there it goes. That's pretty cool. There's all kinds of fun things to do out here. Not only can you climb in the aircraft and just see the aircraft, there's all kinds of buttons you can press. Kids love it out here. You're having a blast out here, right? Climbing through yeah. all the aircraft and pressing all the buttons? Yeah, because you of course you are. There's so many things. What is this? This is a mash setup right here. Look at that. Look at this. Who out there watched the MASH? I used to watch MASH. I had the entire series on DVD at home. I still watch it every now and then. Do you ever watch MASH? A few episodes. A few episodes here and there? Okay, I, I remember used to, I used to watch it back in the day. Especially on those days where like you were homesick from school. It was one of those things that used to play on like, I don't know, NBC or CBS or whatever, but like okay. midday. Oh. So you'd be homesick and after like the Price is Right was over, because of course if you're homesick, what, everybody watched the Price is Right when you're homesick, of course from school. Or when you're tired. Or when, when you're what? Retired. I, I don't know about all. I don't know what old people do, but I know when I was homesick um, from school, you'd always watch The Price Is Right, and then like Mash would come on afterwards. So as a child, I used to watch lots of Korean War dramas. I, I, I guess this thing's awesome. Marines, obviously done by Warner Brothers. That's pretty cool. Look at that. It's just interesting the way these things are designed and set up. There's not a lot to. It's not a lot around you. It's just sort of they're very open. Which is crazy. There's another one over There's another here. button? What's this button do? Oh, makes this thing move around. Oh, it just kind of shows you the inner workings. Yeah. Look at that. There's the, the gears, all the pistons hey. and whatnot. Hey. And yeah. Oh, it's like it's, a piston there. It's, it's a, a Pac-Man pa trying to I was going to say it's Pac-Man. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. You're not wrong. That's pretty cool. So that shows you, I guess, in slow motion how a helicopter propeller actually spins around. There's a motor right here. So this is pretty cool. We haven't been down here in a very long time. Sean's never been here before. You and I were here oh. before he was even born. That was, that was a long time ago. This is neat. Look at this guy here. What's the date on this thing? This Bell 478. I can pronounce Bell. That one I can pronounce. Yay. This was uh, 19... Oh no, wait. That's... I'm so confused. Whoa. This one there is 1954. I don't know what this one, oh, here it is. But wait, but why is it? Oh no, I'm completely wrong. You follow the arrow. It's a that thing up there. I gotta be honest, I'm now just noticing this aircraft hanging from the ceiling as well. Yeah. Wow, okay. So that's pretty awesome. I'm curious about this. What's the, what's the end of this thing? Is this it here? No, that's a gyro glider. I have no idea. Who who knows? Regardless, so these are pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Thinking there's a sign over here. Oh, here we go. How do you see this? Piasecki. 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 
H-U-P-2. This one was from, there's gotta be a date on here somewhere, right? Do you see a date somewhere? Uh, maybe. I don't know, I don't, I don't see a date on there anywhere. No, this is uh, or, but, Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea when this one flew. Still pretty awesome though. Was it one of these like used, was that one over there that was used for like um, picking up um, the, uh, like the space, the space yeah. turtles? I think, yeah. I think they were saying that. I just wanna show you guys that really quick. Was it the, uh, the, the YP one there? I think I think it was. I think it was the one. I think it was the one we actually went inside earlier. Yeah, it is. Let's see the water. Now, it wasn't it, it? Wasn't this specific one? I don't believe, but it was one of these models. Yes, it was actually used to pick up the Mer the Mercury capsule, the seahorse. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Again, I don't believe it was this one because this one has different numbers. But still, that's pretty neat that one of these was actually used to pick up the uh, the capsule. I can't imagine coming from space and splashing down in the ocean and then getting picked up by a helicopter. That's got to be. That's gotta be crazy. So pretty awesome here. Helicopter museum, totally awesome. If you're in Westchester, Pennsylvania, if you're ever out here, you gotta check this place out just to check out all the amazing helicopters. There's some more like personal aircraft here. This one looks like something that would float, flown in like a James Bond movie. Kind of, yeah. I'm loving the colors on this one though, this Bell 47B. That is a beautiful looking aircraft. I mean, what can I say? When it comes to colors, brown is beautiful. That's, that's, that's all I know. What's this one do? Oh. And then, and then what, the other one lights up? Press button when lit. And patience. There we go. Oh, it spins the other blade? Oh, that's cool. Look at that. And it goes back down. That's pretty awesome. There was a um, thing you could do over here. We both did this. It doesn't really make any sense because like you, you pedal it for just a tiny little bit and it goes up no matter how fast you pedal. We thought maybe the blades would spin around the faster you pedal. It does not. Sean's gonna make this thing go with just like the smallest little effort. Look at that. That's all you gotta do to make it go up. I don't really get the idea of this one. At least you get exercise. That's, that's what truly really matters. So I think that's just about it here, guys. There's not too much more to look at, but it's, it's a small museum, but it's a pretty epic museum. You gonna, you gonna come join us? Or you're just gonna pedal? You can get your exercise if you want. Get a hamburger earlier, you can, you can work that off. So here in Westchester, Pennsylvania, if you're ever out here, you definitely gotta come check out the American Helicopter Museum and Education Center. It is really, really neat out here. All the different helicopters. Again, look at these, some of them, which you can go in. This one has a face on it as well. So some of them you can actually go inside. There's a snack bar. Oh, there's a model room. We haven't even gone to the model room yet. There's different models of helicopters in here. Oh yeah, look at this. Ooh, it's air conditioning here. There's no air conditioning in the uh, in that part. It's a little warm in there. This is cool. These ones have cute little faces on them. I believe that, yeah, they were real helicopters. Yeah. Dance team. That's interesting. I would love to see that actually yeah. working. That one has a pipe. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So I think that's just about going to do it. Again, it's a little warm out in this area. So I think we're going to wrap it up now. They, they have the, the doors open, so there's actually no AC in here. So uh, it gets a little, little warm, a little sweaty in here, but it is still really awesome. So all right, guys. That is it for the American Helicopter Museum and Education Center. Really awesome place here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Highly recommend coming out here, checking this place out. Not too bad. Was it like 10 bucks to get in? Eight bucks for, yeah. it was 10 bucks for adults. Sean was only $8. Cause he's, I think if you're under 12, it's eight bucks. So pretty awesome. Not too expensive, fun time. We've been, we've already been out here for like a good like hour and a half, just walking around, going inside, reading all the different things you can read, pressing all the different buttons, getting our photos taken inside the helicopters. It's a fun little experience, but with that, we are, we are gonna go. So as always guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell. Also check down below for all the different links. Uh, you can check down below for a link to Patreon. If you're, if you become a patron for this channel, you can actually get a, Oh, there's all kinds of, look at that kids helipad. Wow. So you become a patron for what's with day today. You actually get a postcard, a monthly postcard for my adventures out on the road. And that's gonna do it. So you guys having fun? Yeah. Wanna go walk around one more time? Sure.
Oh, all right, sorry. Right. We'll see you guys next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye. What? Bye. Oh. Bye. Bye.